Hello and welcome to the short vort on Parshas Veschanan. I'm Ephraim Levi, and today we will discuss Shvi'i of the Parsha. In Parak Zion, Pasuk Yid Aleph, the Pasuk says, Asher Nochim Tzavcha Hayom La'asosam, that I have commanded you today to do. The Gemara Navoda Zara says that you do the mitzvah today, but the reward only comes later. And as the Gemara in Kedushan says, Schar mitzvah b'hai al-maleka. There is no reward for a mitzvah in this world. So how do we understand this? So Rabbi Leo Dessler and his Sefer of Mikhtav Me'elio explains, and he says that there's a Gemara, the Pirkei Avo says that even the whole benefit of all this world is not equal to one moment of koras ruach, of spiritual bliss in the world to come. So imagine if you took all the joy you've had in, in your life and put it into one moment. Okay, Then, that would be pretty intense. Then, you know, take your friends, other members of your city, and put it into that same moment. Now do it with your state. I mean, this is a pretty, pretty impressive level of enjoyment, pretty intense. How about your whole country? Or how about the whole world that's there in your lifetime? So this is amazingly large. Now imagine the moment of all joy, of all people, from all eternity condensed into one moment. That moment would not match even that little bit of koras, a moment of koras ruach, in the Olam Abba. So what is Koras Ruach? What is the spiritual bliss? So imagine that you had a poor person who had not eaten anything in days, and he goes by the banquet hall with all the rich delicacies that they have there, and he smells the taste. It doesn't taste anything. He just smells the amazing food there, that enjoyment. He'd really enjoy it too. It would be really special to him. That is the, the reward of the, in Olam Haba for the smallest mitzvah. That's called Koras Ruach. The bigger, the greater the mitzvah, it's a bigger reward. But that smallest mitzvah, that smallest reward for the smallest mitzvah is bigger than all the enjoyment of all eternity in this world. That's why naturally you wouldn't want to be paid for your mitzvah in this world. You wouldn't want to be like getting on a bus and giving a hundred dollar bill to pay your two seventy five uh, uh, fare. So because when the bus driver doesn't have change, you don't want to give it and get nothing back. So you'd rather wait for the next world world to get the full compensation for even your smallest mitzvah. Maybe we'd be zochet to do many mitzvahs beyond the smallest mitzvah. Please share the short divorce. I hope you've enjoyed it. We'll be winding down the cycle of Shani to Shvi very soon. Uh, but you know, feel free to contact me at devarman2 at yahoo.com uh, with feedback and ideas, whether to proceed and to continue. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful Shabbos.